everyone happy holidays welcome to another video today we are going to make some classic holiday cutout sugar cookies i'm so excited to bake with you guys and to kind of show you guys how i make my cookies i will put up some pictures in here to show you guys what we're making i also wanted to kind of chit chat and give you guys an update on how my internship is going i am currently in my second quarter and oh i'm a school psychology intern so that means I finished my coursework and I am in my final stage of um, like my training process and after this year I can be a practicing school psychologist which is super super exciting. Right now it's the holiday time so it's been pretty busy at work and on top of that you know just like holiday festivities like doing gifts and like events even though a lot of things are virtual because we are in a pandemic. Um, so I just wanted to kind of talk about updates, like what's been going on during internship, and then bake with you, show you guys how I ice my cookies and bake and all that. So let's get into it. With a lot of trial and error, I found a favorite recipe for my cutout cookies. It's the one by Preppy Kitchen, and I think his is the best because it just creates those like laser sharp edges. So here's a recipe and what you need. You need four cups of flour, one third cup of cornstarch, this is like the secret ingredient. Three fourth tablespoon of salt, one cup of unsalted butter, that's like two sticks, one cup of sugar, two eggs, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So for cookies, you need softened butter, which means it can't be melted, but it has to be soft enough for you to be able to work with. So I like to pop them into the microwave for like 20 to 30 seconds, make sure it's not melted, and then I put it into my mixer. So I took them out at around 23 seconds and they're pretty soft and they're like cool to the touch but they're like very malleable when you touch like when you squeeze them. So I'm going to put these into my mixer. And then I'm going to give it a good mix before adding my sugar. And my sugar and make sure to scrape the edges as you go because it gets stuck a lot of times. And especially as you add your egg, you wanna make sure everything's incorporated. We are then going to add all the dry ingredients together. That's good. One third cup of cornstarch. That's good. And then I like to whisk all of this together to make sure it's all incorporated. Then we want to combine the dry with the wet and then stir it together. So that's basically how you make the cookie dough. I am going to put it in a Ziploc bag. You can also wrap it with some plastic and then put it in the fridge. I like to chill it for like one to two hours before working with it. So while I was waiting for the dough to chill, I ended up taking a nap and I just woke up. So I think the dough is ready. Um, but before we get into like the rolling and the cutting, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on my internship. I am nearing the second quarter of internship, which means um, I have my year long middle school assignment. Um, I go there like one to three times a week, depending on what week it is. And I've just been like continuing, um, doing a lot of assessment, and we have, um, we're, we've been planning to start a hops group. So I'm working with counselors to um, lesson plan. It's like a executive functioning homework organization planning skills group. And we have some middle schoolers who are kind of struggling in the virtual environment, and especially with math. And so we really wanted to teach them some skills and um, help them to like, track their assignments and things like that. One thing we are running into is um, like looking for things like that'll motivate them, like incentives, especially in this virtual environment, like how to give them like rewards that they're going to be excited about. So of course, like tangibles are going to be, um, I feel like it's usually more exciting for them or also easier for us to give right like gift cards or like little prizes like mechanical pencils or um, like fidgets things like that and that's a possibility for us to 
um, like have in the rewards bank and for us to send out. But also like just to think about like virtual rewards, so, like playing a game like at the end of recession. I heard some um, counselors and psychs like to play Uno or maybe like Pictionary or Scribble or something like quick and fun um, that will be kind of like a, not like a privilege, but just like something added to the session that they can work towards if that's motivating for them. I'm also on my second quarter rotation placement, which is at an alternative high school, and I've been loving my experience there. It's really sad that it's mostly virtual. I would love to like meet with some of the students in person and like do groups and counseling, but I feel like we're doing the best we can, and um, we are trying to get a group up and running. It's a student-like group, um, and it's voluntary, so it's been kind of hard to like wheel students in and like get them to attend, but. We are very hopeful. We've been um, trying different like tactics out and we're hoping to get some more students after we come back from break. So that's been really, really exciting. Um, it's like, I guess like, um, it, the group is mainly about like relationship building skills, self-management and like motivation, goal setting and basically like we're there to like facilitate or um, like jump in if anything goes wrong but we really want it to be a student-led group so the students can kind of discuss like share experiences and learn from each other and a few weeks after break I will start my third quarter rotation which will be I think it's at an early childhood center so like child find something like that where I'll be doing a lot of assessments with the little little kids and um i'm super excited for that as well because i really haven't um worked with like very young children yet and doing assessment with them it's always been with school age so that'll be a really different experience for me what else oh and i'm also um, still going into children's for my clinical rotation twice a month so that's been good those days are long and exhausting but i love having like this variety of experiences um definitely you know doing testing in a clinical setting is so different from being in the schools so i appreciate that as well and just coming from a neuropsych perspective has been really cool like they use different kinds of tests to determine like not to determine but to assess different things so like we've been doing the teach and like tower of london groove pegs and you don't really see that in the schools so that's been really cool all right let's get into rolling and cutting out the cookies and then we'll bake them and then we'll get into icing Hi guys, it's the next morning. I ended up sleeping at like one or two. I cut out my cookies for like three, four hours. And I stored them in the freezer and now they're ready to be baked. And I did that because I didn't want to bake it last night because um, I had extra time today and it would be fresher if I waited until today. Um, so I have my oven going, it's um, heating up to 375 and then I'm going to lay out my cookies and then put them in. I have a couple batches to put in because I'm actually making a couple orders for friends and family in the area. So hopefully this doesn't take too long because I still have to make all the icing and do two layers of icing on the cookies. These are all baked, we're going to move these to a cooling rack and then repeat the process until we're done baking all the cookies.
Here is my last batch going into the oven. Yay! I just finished icing the first layer of the snowmen and I have a fan going over there <laughs> to make sure it dries evenly and has a nice finish. And then I'm gonna start working on the Christmas tree. So I had some leftover icing from last time, but I realized I didn't have enough to frost everything. So let's make some more icing. This is like a royal icing recipe. Um, I'll leave it in the description box below. It's my favorite one to use. It's so simple to make and um, it's really easy to work with. So here are the ingredients that you need. All you need is meringue powder and this kind of acts like a egg white substitute. So I use two tablespoons of this with six tablespoons of water, you whisk that up and then it'll become like foamy. And then you add your powdered sugar, like how many cups? Uh, two and two thirds cup of powdered sugar. And then it'll become like this like really thick consistency. And that's basically your icing. And then I use gel food coloring to get the colors I want. And this is my favorite food coloring. Gel is definitely best to use for royal icing because it doesn't water it down and this has all the colors that I basically need. So here we go and here's some water. Hello everyone, it is currently 9.30. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Hi everyone, currently it's 9.30 p.m. and I spent all day working on my cookies and I am so exhausted, but we are still not done. Let me show you what I finished. So we finished all the snowmen. Yay! We did the eyes, the carrot nose, the hat, the scarf. And I did two different colors. Like, wow, I was ambitious. But now we have these beautiful um, first layer of the Christmas tree. And then I'm going to have to use the edible marker and um, some decorations. So we're going to work on that in a little bit. So I'm going to take a little break. Um, but food for thought. What do you think are the pros and cons of virtual learning? I mean, obviously, there's a lot of negatives about virtual learning. Um, a lot of people are having a really hard time, like, focusing or, like, having the resources that they need that they would typically get at school or, like, even just having a good study environment. But I think there are some positives about virtual learning as well. And I, I guess like recently, right before break started, we've been trying to focus on the positives and like good things about virtual learning or good things about like what's going on right now, just to kind of have like a mindset shift. Um, because we know positive thinking changes how you feel and um, that also changes your behavior. And so I think some students are really really thriving in this virtual setting which is great to see like even some students who were struggling in school in person uh, maybe they're having a better time focusing and organizing all of the materials um, you know instead of having all of their papers in their backpacks they have everything in one place and also um, we just have I feel like everyone has more time um, like we don't have to commute we get to sleep in a little bit more and um, we're able to be at more meetings more places um, that being said there are like a lot of high school students that I work with who started working because they had to because of their family situation and um, like their parents being laid off or maybe they themselves like were laid off and they had to find a more flexible job um, so, you know, obviously it's situational, but um, I, I guess I was curious about your thoughts and what you guys think are the pros and cons. Okay, I'm done ranting. Back to the cookies.
All right, y'all, it's past midnight and I'm finally done. Let me show you guys how it looks. And I guess this is a wrap on the video. Maybe I'll show you how it looks in the morning and, um, you know, all packaged and dry, all that. Especially um, because I am so tired right now and I probably look like crap and I want a better outro. This is what they look like. Here are the Christmas trees. The snowmen, I gave them two different color scarves. And I have more over here. And then I had some extra cookies left, so I just wanted to like practice and mess around. Good morning, it's the next day. And yeah, it, like making these kind of cookies takes a long time because you have to wait for all the icing to dry. <sighs> I should probably pick a different hobby. Anyways, um, I'm done with the cookies. They're completely dry. I love how they turned out and now I'm going to pack them. If you've made it this far, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great winter break and I will see you guys in the new year. <laughs> All right, let's get packing. Little cellophane bag. And then I have a heat sealer. Ta-da! Now it's good for a few weeks.